So as you get older, there's these two realities that kind of come into focus and, and, and you have this, this clarity and, and, and appreciation for them real quick. You know, you really start to really look at them as as non-negotiables. Like this is something I can't sacrifice. That first reality is is your health and how much it really means. You know, when you're younger, you know, you can run and you can do all of these wonderful things. And, and you really believe in your head that, that I'm going to be able to do this forever. Well, oh, no, you not. You start to get aches and pains in, in places on your body you didn't even know you existed. And, and things start coming up, you go to the doctor, you start to get these little diagnoses. You're like, doc, I, I don't even feel sick. And no, oh, you gotta watch this, you gotta watch that. Get on a pill for this, get on a pill for that. So your health becomes vitally important and non-negotiable. But there's another thing, number two, is your time. Your time, and that's something I want to focus in on this video, is your time. Like the older you get, you start to really appreciate and understand the value of every single second. A, because once you have used up time, you can never get it back. You know, what you did one second ago, it's gone forever. What you did an hour, day, 10 years ago, it is gone. And God forbid, if you got a bad memory, you don't even remember what you did. But that, it, but you can never get it back. And B, it's in short supply. Like, in the biggest scheme of things, in relation to the universe, we are, as human beings, we're only on this planet for a fraction of a nanosecond. Our time here goes like that. So what are you doing with your time to make a difference? What are you doing with your time to make an impact in the lives of people who love you, those who you love, and just humanity as a whole? You know, for so many of us, when we're coming up in our careers and we're coming up in business, you know, we love to appear like we're so busy. We're just so busy, you know, but there's a big difference between being busy and being productive. Like really like rock with me for a second. Just, just like, think about it. <clears throat> you know, people always love to throw that word around. I'm just so busy scheduling, meeting after meeting, conference call after conference calls, Skype calls, this, that, and the third, lunch meetings. It's like, okay. Did any of that, any of it, really think about it, did any of it result in, in, in personal growth? Did any of it result in your business growth? Did you close a deal? Did you close a sale? Have you moved forward from a, in, in, in a professional level? Or was it just unproductive time that you spent being busy? Anybody can be busy. But the key to life, the key to your time is, 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 using every second to be productive, every second. So you really have to take into account which meetings are worth my time, which calls really require my time to be on, or can somebody else be on those calls because my time could be better served doing something else. Guys, let's stop fronting and stop putting on the facade as we're so damn busy and start to really work on being productive because every second counts. You know, I, 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 I listened to this sermon and the pastor said something that was just profound. He said something that, you know, I really loved and it, and, and it just helped me to, you know, kind of really think about things different. You know, he said, whenever you use the word time, you know, because we love to throw, oh, I ain't got time to waste. I ain't got time for that. He was like, you know, whenever you use the word time, replace it with the word life. Life. So, so, so bear with me. When, 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 you, when you find yourself saying, I ain't got time for that. Oh, you know, you wasting my time. Next time say, I don't have life for that. You're wasting my life. Whoa. 
like, like the paradigm just shifted completely. There's a whole new spin, a whole new appreciation for your, your, your time being with, no, I don't have life to waste. Now all of a sudden things just got serious. Now all of a sudden, you know, you, 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 you want to make a better decision because it impacts your life. You know, when I was coming up in business, it was this woman and, and, and she would tell all of her managers, you know, you can't be too accessible. You can't be too accessible. And to an extent, I agree with her. To an extent, I don't. You know, I don't believe, and I, I like to be accessible. You know, I feel that, that when I was coming up, I would have loved to have somebody who would have just gave me a few minutes of their time. But let's be honest, guys. The, the, the more you move up through the ranks, the busier you get. You know, and I'm saying busy in the terms of being productive. So you really have to micromanage your time. And, and it's unfortunate because everybody is not worth those 10 minutes. You know, you can't help everybody in this world. You know, you're not going to be able to make an impact in everybody's life. And, you know, people, oh, I just need 10 minutes of your time. Well, well it's never 10 minutes. You know, those 10 minutes become an hour. And, that, and that's an hour, you know, and, and God bless you. You know, you want to be able to take these meetings and be able to talk to people and be able to help everybody. But those 10 minutes, that, that's now an hour out of your life that you could have been spending closing a deal somewhere else. That you could have been spending, you know, maybe in the gym. Maybe, maybe, maybe helping with your health. So really, guys, take a second and, and, and start to... to Understand, like, you know, your time, your accessibility, you kind of got to micromanage that. The people who get those few minutes with you, are they worth it? Are you enhancing their life enough? Are they worth you enhancing their life enough? You know, everybody who comes to you and has this big idea, well, maybe it's not for you. Maybe it's not for you. You know, you, we, we all know people that have gone and, and, and they've done amazing things. Well, maybe that opportunity wasn't for you. So you can't just give time to everyone. Maybe that's their journey. But if they are worth the time, then take the meeting. But again, it comes down to being productive. You know, really focusing on yourself and growth. And that kind of brings me to another thought because as you continue to grow and as you continue to move up the ranks and as your business continue to, to, to 10x and 20x, you know, comes with the territory. Some of the old crew, some of your old friends, you know, they're going to put the guilt trip on you and they're going to make you feel like you changed. Oh, you don't have time for us. Probably I don't. You know, I'm sorry. You know, I, you know, don't fall into guilt. Don't fall into to, to people making you feel bad because you're making moves. If you're really making moves and you're not front and just trying to act busy. You know, your high school friends, I don't know how much more you have to talk to them about. And people sometimes, they don't realize that, like, you have a lot of time on your hand. You know, I get it. I respect it. You, you, you go and you do your nine to five. You come home and you're free for the rest of the evening. My life is not like that. I'm trying to do something more. I'm trying to become greater. It's going to be those casualties. And you have to come to peace with that. You have to come to peace with the thought that, you know what? Everybody is not going to like me. People are going to be pissed. People are going to feel like I forgot about them. Don't fall into the kill trap, guys. Don't, because you don't have life. You don't have life to waste. Your time, I want you all to replace it with the word life. And if you can do that, you'll start to make the best of every second, of every minute, because you really don't have life to waste. Guys, if you heard anything on this video, please, Hit that subscribe button if anything made sense to you. Like I always say, 
make every move, every move a power move. Peace and love, and I'll catch you guys on the next video. What's up guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love.